If you carry a firearm, you need to absolutely know when you can display that firearm defensively and when you can't. Want to be a better defensive shooter in 2018? Join the ASP Dry Fire Challenge by joining our Facebook group and by subscribing to the Active Self Protection Extra channel for weekly lessons on getting better with your defensive firearm. Hi everyone, this is John with today's Active Self Protection lesson. I'm not 100% sure where this one comes from, so if you have more information, put it in a comment. I will add it to the description. Here we're going to see an altercation that ends when the man in the truck pulls a firearm and displays it defensively. And we're going to learn important lessons here about de-escalation, escape, and avoidance. Also, we're going to talk significantly here about the defensive display of a firearm, how the appropriateness of that is determined state by state, and whether or not you should use a defensive display of a firearm. So this man in the truck is going to pull in right next to the motorcycle. And if you go read the comments on the raw, you'll notice that he says that he was uh, followed home by a car full of people who had been road raging and yelling at him and those kind of things. Now, as he's going to get out of the truck here, there's going to be a couple of people who are going to come up to him. Now, what you're not seeing is the fact that there is a guy who just got out of the car that they came in who had a big metal pipe in his hand. So he gets out of the car and if you're looking, he has in his hand there, pretty significant, what looks like a gun. Well, that's because it is. It's actually a MAC-10. So he argues with them, they argue with him. Again, there's a guy with a pipe that's off screen that got out of the car as well. Thankfully, that guy with the pipe doesn't come his way. The people who are yelling decide that they're gonna go on their way. And our guy in the black truck here is gonna go back into his black truck, put that gun away, and nobody gets shot that day. So this is what we call a defensive display of a firearm. All right, let's go back and think about some significant lessons out of this one. As he's pulling in here, I wanna talk about using your vehicle effectively because these people had followed him home with you know, uh, road raging stuff. And he's like, man, I, I kinda, kinda can't get anywhere because there's a dumpster to the right and there's curbs and all those things. Well, that's all well and good, except for he's got a vehicle that has some ground clearance. It's one of the reasons I drive a truck that's got some ground clearance, because curbs are a suggestion. Sometimes to get away from somebody, you might have to ignore them and just jump them. And, and that would have been an option to escape out of here and to get away from them. Now, as this guy comes up here and he wants to argue, our, our guy in the truck gets out with a gun in his hand. Now, if all we had was the video, and if all we had was the information on the video, we'd go, whoa, why is he pulling a gun? These guys are just yelling at him. But knowing that there was somebody off camera who had a pipe and was getting out and was with this group, yeah, maybe in that instance you go, well, that's a significant problem. So we wanna talk about the defensive display of a firearm here. Every state has different laws on the defensive display of a firearm. So you wanna make sure you check your local laws. In some places, this would be aggravated assault assault in a place like Arizona, he probably could get away with it because of the presence of the other person with the pipe. Thankfully, that de-escalated in this instance and did not escalate to a deadly force encounter because the, the arguers here and the guy with the pipe didn't want to fight with a guy who had a gun in his hand. And that's a good thing. Sometimes the mere display of a firearm is enough to stop a deadly threat, which again, somebody with a pipe would be but I want you to check your local laws because I don't want you to get charged with brandishing when you're trying to prevent the use of deadly force. All things considered, use your car, stay away from road rage if you can, escape if possible, use your firearms effectively and only display them when, a, when in need and when it's legal to do so.